Hi everyone, my name's Hayley, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be walking one mile together. So, let's get to it. I am just setting my watch now to one mile walk outside. So three, two, one, let's go. So we're gonna start here now with just a walk in place. Really gentle just to warm up the body for our walk today. Thank you so much for joining me for this walking workout today. I thought it would be a fantastic opportunity to get outside, see the sun, <laughs> breathe in some fresh air, all the things you can imagine today, even if you're at home, you can still reap the benefits of looking at this beautiful scenery right through your screen today. Like I told you in the introduction, we are at Burrital Reservoir today, which is just on the edge of Dartmoor. It's a real beauty spot. It's absolutely stunning. It's in the southwest of England, so anytime you are here, do pop out and give it a nice little walk. There's fantastic trails, you can bring your bikes, you can just bring a picnic and just take in the view, walk through the woods. There's often some Dartmoor ponies around as well, so yeah, it's a real, real beauty spot just down here in the southwest. Right, keep going. We're starting to feel our blood moving around our body. We can start to feel a little bit of fatigue coming, but that's great, that's what we're looking for today. We're working, we're not sat, we're walking. Right, we're just gonna move on to the next move now. Like I said before, we're gonna come back to this walking place many times. So anytime you want to come back, just do. We're going to do that ourselves, but if you feel like one move is too much for you, always come back to this, and you can walk the whole mile, mile just like this if you need to. Perfect, right, so our next move, we're just going to step to the side and lift a leg. So follow me. Step, lift, step, lift. So all we're doing is we're putting our arms out, doing a gentle pull in just to create some friction there. And our knees are bending, kicking our bum slightly. <laughs> Again, just to elevate that heart rate slightly. Can you feel that? I'll let you enjoy the walk. <laughs> Perfect, doing fantastic. Can you see where we're walking now? <laughs> I hope you like it. Right, we're gonna to move to our next move now. So we're gonna come back to our walk in place now. Take a deep breath, breathe in that lovely fresh air and get ready to move on to our next move. So this move is just gonna be a kick of our legs straight out in front of us. So watch and follow along when you're ready. Kick, 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 kick. Hopefully you can feel your breath starting to feel a little bit more breathless just as we are really starting to ramp up into that workout now. We're gonna vary this move slightly now, just by bending the knee. So where you're doing a straight kick, I want you now to bend your knee, and we're going to alternate our arms to our legs. Bend in the elbow, bend in the knee. And you can feel that slight crunch there in the core. Now this is no lying down core cool workout today, but you'll be working all over your body and you can really feel it there if you brace your abs. I don't mean suck in the tummy, but I mean brace. Imagine someone's going to go and hit you right there in the tummy. Brace. <laughs> and that's how we're working our core today. Excellent, You're doing fantastic. Okay, we're gonna go back to a walk in place. So stay here and walk in place. So we're gonna 
vary on our walking place now and we're just going to lift our knees slightly higher and up a little bit more like a soldier's march now you can still brace that core again and the arms are swinging slightly more on this move excellent how far in are we Doing well, guys. And take it back down to our walk in place. Fantastic. If you've got your water bottle handy and at any point you want to stop and take a sip, then do. Don't wait for me to tell you. This is your workout. You do whatever you need to do. Right, this next move, we're going to keep our walk in place with our legs, but we're going to be extending our arms right out in front of us and curling back in. Let me show you, just like this. So the legs are staying the same but our arms are coming out right in front of us. We're not dropping too low and we're keeping our elbow height and bringing our hands to our shoulders. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Excellent. I think I need my sunnies on. <laughs> This is the beauty of this workout, is that it could be the darkest, rainiest winter day, but we can get transported right back here at Burritore Reservoir, looking at that beautiful view right behind me on a glorious summer August day. Don't let this fool you though, because it has been awful weather recently. <laughs> It's been August, it's been some holidays, but of course it's been pretty rainy, I'd say the whole time. So um, <laughs> we're glad to see these sunny days now and knowing that winter's on the way, it's definitely gonna bring those darker, wetter days to us, isn't it? But then it means Christmas, so. <laughs> Perfect, bring it back to a walking place. Our next move we're going to do is going to be a step to the side on each side of our leg. So let me show you what I mean. So in three, two, one, step together, step together. And again, we're just pulling those arms in, reaching out and pulling straight in. Kind of like the first move we did, but this time our feet are staying on the ground and we're just tapping our toes together Go to the next side again. Excellent. Actually, now I've got thinking about Christmas. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about Christmas? Leave me a note in the comments below. I'd love to know. I know we're talking on a summer's day, but I mentioned the C word and my mind has gone there now. So <laughs> I need to start thinking about what I'm gonna get my little boy for Christmas. <sighs> Always gotta be one step ahead. <laughs> Perfect, speaking of steps, let's go back to our step and place. Hold here. Excellent. So just take a moment as we're stepping in place to take a deep breath in 
and breathe out. And again. And out. And let's really think about an intention for the day today or tomorrow, depending on what time of the day you're doing it. If you're starting at the beginning of the day, let's really think about our intention for the day. What do we want to make sure we feel today? How do we want to feel? How do we want the day to pan out? Think about that intention and set it. And that is what you want to achieve today. And if you're doing this workout at the end of the day, either reflect upon what you really enjoyed today or think about tomorrow and set that intention for tomorrow. I thought I lost you guys then because <laughs> my screen went dark. <laughs> and that would have been no good. Right, we're gonna do our next move now, which is gonna be a walk to me and then we'll, a walk back for four counts. So we're keeping with the same marching move, but just coming all the way forward and going all the way back. Let's go in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. With the walking forward, you're gonna feel a slight more of a twist in your waist. So think about bracing that core again, like we talked about earlier. You can really accentuate that twist as well. If you wanna feel a little bit more, a little bit more. Enjoying this as much as I am. <laughs> okay, we're going to do two more. There's one and two, and finish on our walk in place again. Here we go. Our next move we're going to do is going to be a bit more arm work again. So, watch as I demonstrate what we're going to do, and then join in when you're ready. So we're gonna do arms out, in, up, down. A Little bit of an extension on what we were doing before. Out, touch the shoulders, up and down. So we're almost doing a slight press. We're still walking with our feet. They are still doing the same marching. And we're just doing an extension here and then a slight press. If you're feeling really strong today <laughs> and want to grab some hand weights to do this move with, then go for it. Even if you've got no hand weights, feel free to grab a couple cups of beans. Maybe not cups of beans, leave them in their tin. <laughs> Let's do three more here. I think I did one more then. Sorry guys. Well, you got some more bang for your buck. <laughs> Straight back here to a walking in place. And we are almost done. All we've got left to do is a little step knee. So stay with me here and I'll demonstrate the move and then join in when you're ready. So we're gonna step on one leg, knee, step back, return. Step, knee, back, return. Join in now, step, knee, back, return. You're welcome to swing your arms slightly across your body just to give you a little bit more of a twist. 
and you can feel that real crunch down in your oblique there. And give me two more and we're going to switch sides. One more. Perfect. So this time we're stepping here, knee, back, return. And we've completely switched our sides. It's a little bit uneven here. <laughs> if, you feel, if you see me slip down into the reservoir, you know it's because I've slipped on a stone. <laughs> Perfect. Give me two more here. And walk in place. Back to our pace. How are we doing? We are so close to being at one mile, guys. So close. I think another minute's gonna do it for us. So let's finish on a nice high march, just as before to get us over that one mile mark. So really swing those arms, lift those knees. Give me a smile, because you've almost done it. One mile today. And then you get to go and get on with your day. <laughs> Keep that intention going. In the last le lot of effort that you've got, give me a nice big march, a nice big swing. Feel that twist in your obliques. And we are there. Yeah. Perfect. Let's not stop. Let's do a nice little cool down here. So we're going to stay in our marching place and take it right down. So really nice slow march and we'll do a nice cool down. That was excellent. I'm a bit warm. Are you a bit warm? Perfect. So let's roll those shoulders all the way up and back. Our cool down. Do check out my other videos. There will be some warm up and cool down videos coming specifically. So if you feel like you need a longer warm up, or a longer cool down session for any of these then do check it out do like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content today and let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see anything you enjoyed anything you didn't enjoy let me know okay we're just going to do a slight step touch yeah just as we bring that heart rate bike back down I've really loved having you with me today. And I'll let you know where the next location is gonna be for our next workout. And join me again for another mile walk. Okay, step again, slightly in place. We need to give me three deep breaths. And out. And in. And out. And in. And out. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.